concern of a lot of the fragmentation that's occurring in northern Alberta is due to linear features. So these are things, cut lines, these seismic lines, uh, that are these open uh, corridors, the anthropogenic corridors they're sometimes called. And a, a major concern in ecology and conservation right now is whether they increase movement of organisms that may change uh, community composition and interactions between species. So a well-known one is wolves and caribou. Federico was able to demonstrate that they do, you know, they do direct movements of, of even invertebrates, butterflies. One of few species of concern in the border environment for what regards butterfly is the cranberry blue butterfly. We showed how seismic line can change butterfly communities and behavior. Butterflies follow these corridors, potentially affecting distribution interaction between species. Even a 10 meter gap in the forest allows butterfly diversity to increase up to four or five times. We laid on the ground in seismic line and release them and count to the proportion of butterflies that follow the corridor in comparison uh, with those that decided to enter the forest after the release. We found that basically two butterflies out of three prefer to follow the corridor direction.